Potassium argon dating is a, another alternative that could be used. Radioactive potassium decays to uh, an isotope of argon. Argon is a gas, like nitrogen. It could be lost from the sample. So we can only use potassium argon dating with certain minerals that would trap the argon, which is an inert gas, that would trap it in their mineral lattice. It's interesting. We can use potassium argon, of course, for minerals. We can't use it for organic material. We're talking about it's got to have potassium in it. It's got to have uh, a significant amount of potassium. So there are certain minerals, such as the potassium feldspars, that contain enough potassium that we can actually work with this sort of dating technique. Where potassium argon would be useful would be in the case of uh, volcanic uh, volcanic rocks, for example. You, you have to think here that, first of all, we're dating the formation of the mineral. So we can't just take a, an artifact that's made of volcanic rock and then say, well, let's, let's get a potassium argon date on the artifact. We wouldn't be dating the artifact, we'd be dating the rock. And the rock might have formed millions of years earlier. So we have to restrict ourselves here, in the case of potassium argon dating, to rocks that were formed at the time of their deposition in a sequence, and, and a sequence of use to us. And that would, of course, be volcanic materials, materials that were crystallized and blown out of a volcano and, and emplaced in a stratigraphic sequence uh, in a way that's useful to us. So potassium argon dating has been used a lot, for example, in East Africa with the early hominid sites where there are volcanic ashes associated uh, above and below some of these hominid finds. And the timing of the volcanic eruption could be deter determined through uh, potassium argon dating. So here on the west coast, for example, if we wanted to use potassium argon dating in respect to our sequence, we've got to find a volcanic ash that's relevant in our sequence. Or if we're close to a volcano, perhaps even a lava flow that might somehow give us information about local deposits and their ages. But we can't just date the artifact, unfortunately, because then we're just dating the rock itself, not the artifact.